Okay, first video with my new phone. Whew, I look rough. I've had a rough day. There are a total of six eggs that are pipping right now. Um, I can't show you because it's just too hard to film through the box. But six, six are cracking out of their shells. So what they do is they pip and they, uh, they stay that way. And they just breathe the air for like a day. And then they'll finally come out of their shells. So I'm thinking that the first one that pipped yesterday will hatch out tomorrow. So I don't know how many more I'm going to get, but I'm just so excited, you guys. Oh, and I can hear them. I can hear them like kind of like lightly chirping inside their shells. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. Well, that was quick. Oh my gosh, the first one just popped out. Oh yeah. Oh, what a beautiful baby. I don't know if we've got a black Asian or a barred rock. I don't know, you sweet baby. You're just going to rest and dry off. Yep, the rest of them will probably come out tomorrow. Ooh, let's see. Let me count. One, two, three... One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Oh, you sweet baby. I missed it. I can't believe it. It just came out so fast. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't think there's any new ones coming out. Uh, the one, the egg right to the left of it is the one that I wasn't sure was going to be able to hatch out. So we'll see if that one hatches out. So let me see if I can count them. One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, still six. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, you sweet baby. <laughs> At least I got one. All right. Okay, not sure how well this is going to happen. It's kind of like low light, but we'll see. Um, so, I'm just going to share with you guys kind of what happened. Uh, the neighbor lady who is a meth head and a crack addict. Um, I kind of had to distance myself from her while she invited an ex-con to live with her. And I had to call the police a couple times because she kicked him out and locked the doors and he would bang on the windows and the doors and everything. So I guess he had left for a while. Well, he's back. I haven't seen her for a long time, so I don't know. What's going on with her? Uh, she's not welcome here either. Well, today he comes over and no shirt on and he's just this disgusting looking creature. And he just comes walking up. Papa goes and starts barking at him. And uh, I'm looking out. I'm like, oh my God, it's that dude. And see, he I have signs everywhere saying, you know, don't, you know, don't trespass. Okay. So I saw him and I went and grabbed my shotgun. I did. And, uh, before I brandished it, I said, you need to leave. You're not welcome on my property. Get off my property. He wouldn't leave. He just says, I'm just trying to check up on you. He seemed drunk. And, uh, then I pointed my gun at him. I mean, I had to ask him before I pointed the gun at him, 
I asked him several times, get off my property. I don't need you to check on me. Get off my property. And I'm raising my voice. I'm using some not very choice words. Well, choice words. Yeah, I chose them. And uh, he wouldn't leave. He just kept trying to approach me closer. So then I got the shotgun out and I pointed it right at his chest. And at this point, I'm screaming. Neighbor lady across the street, Selena, uh, Mr. Lucas' daughter-in-law, she comes barreling down her, <laughs> you know, the big, long uh, golf course-like lawn. But I was pointing the gun at him and I'm hollering. I'm screaming at him. Get out. Don't get off my property, blah, blah, blah. Well, and finally he turns around. He says, go ahead, shoot at me. And he flipped me off and he starts walking. And then neighbor Selena, just, she was the <laughs> voice of reason. No, it's okay. We, we check on her, you know, don't go onto her property. You just stay in the middle of your yard. Um, you don't need to be on her property. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so awesome, Selena. So, um, I had never fired this weapon before. Well, I walked across the street and Seth, uh, Mr. Lucas' son, um, he stood by me and uh, he kind of re retaught me what I had already been taught about the gun. Very easy. I mean, it's very easy to load and unload. Um, it's safe. It's There's only one way to fire it. Um, and I fired it and it it ain't a big deal. I am not afraid to fire this weapon. I don't know. I think tomorrow I'm going to get out there and I'm going to pan a post and I'm going to put another sign up. I think I have, oh gosh, I don't have any more signs left. I don't know. Maybe I can take some off of a couple of trees or something, but, um, it, it was very upsetting because the guy had, he, he's well known. Um, there's a couple people that I know that know him and they know that he has a violent temper. So I need to, Oh, and here's the thing. I couldn't call the police. I was in between phones. I was in the process of activating the new phone. And so I couldn't just pick up and call nine one one. So, um, I don't know. I may call the police tomorrow and just ask them what I should do. And maybe they should go over and pay him a visit and let him know that, he is not to come up on my property. I don't know if, if I have to trespass him off my property. All I know is I hear a baby chicken and that makes me happy. It makes me feel calm. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm very careful who I let into my life these days. And it's not like I opened the door. My door was already open. I saw him through my front door approaching my gate and I've got signs everywhere. I mean, I, I need to put up some kind of fencing or something. Anyhow, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, just say some prayers for me. All right. So it's midnight and uh, I've talked to the police and they are going to draw up a no trespassing order and serve him with it. Uh, so that's good. I mean, it's not going to prevent him from coming up on my property, but, uh, I'm just so tired, you guys. I gotta go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.